Okay, watch out, welcome back. All right, um, today I want to show you something very quick. This is about craftsmanship. I try and inspire the younger riders, riders who've never done anything before on their bikes to modify, to change things, to make it your own, to stamp your own mark on a motorcycle. And sometimes it involves the most basic skills. And one of those is cutting a bolt down. Now if you, for instance, fit in a fender on your bike, say you're lowering your bike and you've bolted something through the fender, especially on a Harley Davidson, you've got a thread protruding down that might come too close to the tire. But there's a reason to cut a bolt down a bit. There's also things like blind holes. You get a blind hole in something. A blind hole is a hole that doesn't go all the way through. So you've got a bottom to it. You put the bolt in and it bottoms out at the bottom of the hole and it's still too long, so you need to cut the bolt down. There are many reasons to cut a bolt down. Now, I think if you're gonna modify something and do it yourself, you get so much respect if you make a craftsmanship job of it, if you make a real good quality finish. A high-end finish is everything. And if you're modding your own bike, doesn't have to be bodged, even if it's a rat bike, it still means doing it properly. And especially when it's involving brakes, chassis, anything on the bike that you don't want to fall off. So let me show you how to cut a bolt down in a successful way that will give a nice finish that will work afterwards. And there's a little bit more to it sometimes than you think. The reason is when you cut, you take a saw and you cut a bolt down, you'll inevitably mess up the thread on the end and that won't then lock back in. And it's all well and good if you've got a thread file or any of the fancy tools like taps and die sets, but many of you haven't, and I didn't have for many years. I'll show you this. This is something that my grandfather taught me many years ago. Start off, take two nuts that fit the bolt concerned. This is the subject that we're going to cut down. Take two nuts like that and pop them in the vise. End on like that with two flats upwards or uppermost. And nice and solid, nice and tight. Take a hacksaw and run it along them, just split them open, like that. Right, once you're through, take them off, and then wind the bolt into them. Right, now once they're both on, the idea of putting these splits in them is that they're then squashable. So you can space them apart, one there, one there. Just take one in as far as it will go. This is on an Allen bolt. If you've got a bolt head, instead of an Allen bolt head, you can just use one nut. What we're going to do then is put those in the vise like that. Now, now you see the reason for splitting them. When you squash them in on the vise, they'll close together around the thread. But because they are nuts, they are the same as the thread, they won't damage the bolt itself. They'll keep it nice and safe, in fact. And that bolt is very securely fitted in there. And the little splits there are giving you that space for them to squash up. If you normally put regular nuts in and wind it up, what you'll actually do is you'll oval the nuts that are on there and that will then distort the thread inside because you're squeezing the thread on each side and you just distort things out of shape. Now, this is the actual reason for doing it. You want to cut the end off. So let's just say we want about six mil off the end because there's too much of it in the job. So reel back to basic skills here. Pop a thumb in the way, okay? Up against your thumb and draw backwards to start with. Find one of the little threads to lay the blade in and holding it with your thumb in one place, just draw backwards with nothing more than the weight of the blade, just the weight of the saw. Don't press downwards, just the weight of the saw. And you'll get a little groove made. There we go. And in these situations, go backwards and forwards with the weight of the saw. Don't wrench down on it, don't hack into it because you'll just make a horrible end on the bolt. Just give a nice backwards and forwards stroke. Literally just glide the saw backwards and forwards, use the full length of the blade. Holding your thumb in place until it's got a little groove to lay in. Now, this is where the patience comes in. Take your time, because you want the end of this bolt to be as neat and clean as possible. You can hack through that in about eight, eight wrenches or eight, eight lunges, I'll get through that easy, but it will be a horrible mess. Take your time. Use all of the saw. Don't go a million miles an hour with the middle inch of the saw, that's no use. Just overheat it. 
Remember, the reason for this is that as the saw blade gets, if you're going really, really fast and you're giving it the beans with the saw, the blade expands, the metal in the actual bolt expands and everything jams up and you start getting this hack, hack, hack. It just makes a mess. If you use the full length of the saw, go slowly. You see machine saws, they just roll backwards and forwards like they're walking in the park. And the idea is that nothing gets too hot and therefore it keeps cutting beautifully. You get a nice end. Now at this point, you go about three quarters of the way through, start listening to the note from the saw. Listen to it, it will go deeper. The pitch of that, of that weak, weak, weak back and forwards, it will go You'll hear it drop, and then it's like that. It will, <laughs> it will drop in pitch, and as that happens, it shows you're getting to the end of the bolt, it's getting thinner and thinner, and before it snaps off, you can then pull the saw, I'll show you. As you hear it change, Here it dropping. Through it goes. Press less and less hard towards the end of the cut. Right, take it out, take a file. Now on the end of there, the saw going through has made a bit of a mess of that end thread. And if you tried to screw a nut on that, or worse still, you tried to screw that into an aluminium engine casing now, that would definitely cause damage to what it's going into. So take a file and go backwards with the file. And yes, I know that can damage a file, filing backwards with it, but they are cheap as chips, it doesn't matter, it gives you a good job. Just gently stroke backwards, 45 degrees to the thread, because you're not filing on the end, you've made a nice cut, if you look in there, it's got a nice, can you see in the end of it? Mm -hmm. It's a nice, smooth, clean cut without too much damage. And you're just taking the burr off, you're taking the burr and you're rolling it inwards, away from where it needs to be. Once you clean that end off, here's an extra. You've got your split nuts there, and we're going to use them to clean the bolt. We're going to use them to clean the end off there. So pop them back in the vise. This time they don't want to be too tight. Just do them up so there's a bit of resistance. Take a tool, whatever your tool is. In this instance, it's an Allen key. If you're using a bolt head, get a socket on it, and just wind that out with resistance. Do that up, do the nuts up so that there's quite a resistance to that. So they're squeezing quite hard against this bolt and as they do so, as that now comes out, goes backwards and forwards and that will clean the end of that thread up beautifully. And there you go, come out through the second one. There we are. And what we've done there is cut that and, and push all of the burrs off the end and rolled them around so they're out the way. You can then take a little piece of emery cloth and rub that, make a nice end, and a standard nut will now fit straight on the end. That will screw straight in, like that. And if that's an engine case, then it will go in without any damage to the thread. So there we are, that's the attitude. Take the time with little things like that. When you're modifying and building stuff yourself, that's a craftsmanship attitude to lobbing the end off a bolt. You can get a disc if you want and bang a disc through it. It doesn't make any difference how you cut it. But once you cut it, make a nice job. And the whole principle is you split nuts to hold it in the vise. And then taking those nuts off carefully will clean the end of the thread for you without the need for taps and dies and expensive tools that you may not be able to afford. Front pen. Got it. That's the job. Be a craftsman. Be a craftsman in your garage. Do a good job and nobody can criticise you. Any good? Yeah. Take us your ride safe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.